Time for you to get angry because once again, the legislature is out of control as they do yet another gun and amend. Kevin? Well, yeah, okay. So uh, we have this bill, AB 1237, was it? That was correct. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've talked about this bill before. Months uh, ago when we got it killed. Right, and, and it, it got killed in committee. And it's unfortunate, uh, but you kind of see this happening where you have a – uh, a senator who obviously serves on more than one committee uh, within yep. the government. So uh, Senator Ting uh, is the chairperson of a finance committee. So what he has essentially done is taken uh, Senate Bill 173. Which uh, is also Assembly Bill 173, Kevin. Correct. Um, and he has wiped all the info out of it and put this bill into it. Pretty close. What he, what he basically did is any of these budget bills – carry the same number for both the assembly and Senate because it takes both houses to vote on it. Right. And so what he did was kind of, well, number one, it's disgustingly dirty, but he kept the budget bill and said, oh, this bill that nobody liked that failed, that the people said, no, you can't do it. Ha <laughs> ha. And he got and amended it and put it inside of this budget bill. So when you pass the budget bill, you also pass his failed bill. Right. And, and what the original bill, which was Bill 1237, did uh, was took all the information from uh, firearm purchases in mm -hmm. FFLs throughout the state, uh, and it essentially creates a registry to be given to UC Davis uh, to use for research, right? Yeah, and the thing that you have to realize and why you need to be beyond irritated, upset, I'll just say it, pissed off, is because what this allows... To have happen is if a law enforcement officer wanted to find out this information they would have to go get a search warrant they'd have to have it well defined they'd have to have a judge sign off on it for each and every transaction each and every one of us this allows college students college students kevin to have access to it. uc davis doesn't have the, a great security system and this comes at a time that democrats are going after big tech nationwide because there's been so many breaches and hacks. You know, you know how a hacker hacks the UC Davis Research Library? No, how? Pushes open the, the researcher's door and just grabs it. <laughs> right. Like you don't need any mad skills. Well, okay, so yeah, I mean, a security threat is one thing. Um, but I, I mean, let's even look at a lot of these bills that are being passed um, or any piece of legislation that's being advocated for in the first place. One of the things that they normally uh, supplement with that legislation are studies. Where do these studies come from? A lot of them come from colleges. A lot of them come from research centers that stem from colleges. You got a place like UC Davis where they're going to have an influx of all of this data. And unfortunately, you know, something that we've seen on the national political debate is a little bit of indoctrination within our high schools and colleges right. and grade schools. So, I mean, what we're opening ourselves up to is essentially firearm purchasers uh, opening themselves up to future legislation that's going to condemn them because a lot of these studies, you know, we end up finding out they already have the conclusion. They mm -hmm. use the data in whichever way, shape or form that they can to support the conclusion that they already have. And I, I, I think it's it's pretty it ends up being a little bit slimy to force people to submit themselves to a registry like that that's ultimately going to be used against them. It's not a little bit slimy. It's outright slimy. And we need all of you on this emergency alert to call your state senator, call your state assembly person, and say no on 173. That's Assembly Bill 173, Senate Bill 173. And we need you to do it immediately as you see this. That's right. Stop. Stop listening to us. Pause. Call them now. Did you do it? Because we need you to stop and call now your state senator and your state assemblyman and say no on 173. You know, there's lots of positives and negatives in the California legislature. But you know what's always positive? A like on this video. So be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Make sure and hit that little bell uh, so that you can stay tuned for all of our future videos. You can also check us out on Facebook and at CRPA.org. If you're looking for up-to-date legislature notes and things that are going on in the courts, the website and these videos are a great place to find it. So be sure and follow us, and we'll see you next time.